you touching my mic, dude? <laughs> Why are you so tense, man? We'll get it. Oh, you know yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Hey, what up, guys? Uh, it's what Kevin up? here. I have my friend, life coach, Calvin over here. He has a lot of valuable insight. He's helped me a lot. He's helped me everything from finding my purpose in life. But something that we relate together is our relationship with our parents. Mm. You know, I think a lot of us Asians, um, we all deal with that like unspoken, like love, you know, uh, we all deal mm. with it. And there's all that tension a lot of times in a lot of our relationships. And I want to ask you, how do we make that relationship better? And why should we even try to make that relationship better? Why should we even? Yeah. Um, so I, I can't speak for you. I mean, I, I can speak for like in yeah. general, right? Because yeah. you'd be happier. You'd have less baggage. Yeah. Uh, if you were to have kids, when you have kids, you can have like some semblance of, hey, maybe I don't want you to not meet your grandparents, all that, right? But yeah. I'll, I'll just, I'll speak at it from like what's real for me, you yeah. know? Um, you know, like I had a really tough relationship with my dad growing up, you know? Yeah. Um, with my mom, not so much, right? Like my mom was always a source of love. Mm -hmm. um, but my dad was tough, man. Like he was... Uh, a prisoner of war in Vietnam and, and like his dad died when he was 14 his mom died from giving birth to him yeah like that, that's some like old world shit right and so like man's just like had a lot of trauma in his life and kind of that trauma in his life turned into trauma in my life <laughs> from his, him raising me you know like yeah. and, and dad like I uh I love you none of this is to make you sound bad or wrong it's just what what is what was you know um and so like it was just always a, a really tough relationship and I think for the first 20 something years of my life, I was content to just say, you know what? I am never going to be like my dad and just kind of like, that's it. Right. Um, around the time when I was 24, 26, around there, I had graduated from college. I, I started to have that space in my life where I could get to know myself better, kind of grow as a human being and not just like a student or this you know, trying to figure out my professional life sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, I had two dreams, man, like where... I had two dreams that like I'd woke up sobbing and like deeply crying from. Holy shit. Um, and in those two dreams, my dad died, you know, and it was kind of weird because like I was like, you know, like my relationship with my, with my dad was changed. I figured and I kind of like looking back, I realized that if my mom, it was like a dream where my mom died, I'd be really sad or like in my real life, if my mom died, I'd be really sad. But it just it felt it, I would have felt more complete there. You know, but like there was just such a disconnect with my dad where I felt like if he were to like die and I were to lose my dad, there was just so much unresolved stuff. Yeah. And in kind of like experiencing that dream, it just said, dude, like however shitty I felt right now, it was just going to be that much more painful unless I would just like swallow my feelings. Yeah. Uh, when I lost my dad, like if I didn't heal that. Yeah. And I just realized there was a lot of work to do there yeah you know yeah that's that's crazy as you're talking about it too like i feel it man i feel every single thing because like my dad my dad grew up without a father his father died when he was like eight or something like that and he had all this trauma like no one ever taught him how to be a man you know and it's just, just this constant pain and struggle mm. and a lot of times like um our parents they don't know any better. And I think the thing that that's so beautiful is that you understand where your parents are, your, your dad was coming from, you know? And, um, and I think the second thing is like, yeah, for most of my life, I never wanted to repair my relationship with my dad. I was like, fuck this shit. Yeah. Like, fuck him. Right. Like, Move on. Yeah. Like, do me. Yeah. But it wasn't until recently where I wanted to make that outreach. And just like you, like, I basically had a very similar like sort of dream or realization in my life where I was like, I want to make it better. You yeah. know, you know, I don't, I starting today, I want to make my relationship with my dad amazing, you know, because mm -hmm. we only have so much time with them. So let me ask you. So after your dream, what happened after that? Um, I, I didn't really have a sense of what I was going to do yeah. immediately, but it was just this kind of like, uh, this hurt 
that yeah. got like re like it's just like this hurt that like awoke something in me and yeah. i didn't know what to do with it it's like a fucking baby's crying yeah. i don't know how the fuck to make it shut up yeah that's really what it felt like yeah you know but it was just this thing that was bothering me and and at that time i was working with a coach and um he's like well what do you want from your dad you know so i was like you know like to this day and seriously to this like even after that, like i've i've kind of like <laughs> had the thing with my dad like he still hasn't told me that he's loved me. He still hasn't told me he's proud of me. So I was like, same shit, right? I'm like, uh, I want him to say that he's proud of me. I want him to tell me that he loves me. I like, I imagine that hopefully he feels that way or, or yeah. that's true for him, but I just want to hear it. And he was like, Calvin, so, you know, like when you want something, what do you do? And I was like, oh, uh, I asked for it maybe, you know, like, I was like, I don't know where this is going. He's like, well, all right. No, like you, if you, when, when you want something from people, you know, mm -hmm. like you give it first. And that was actually a very profound thing that I had never considered before. So, you know, we, we, we kind of expanded on that conversation and, and I planned on this conversation, Kevin, with my dad, where, you know, I, I sat him down and I was going to tell my dad, like how proud of him I was, you know, that like he grew up the way that he did. He came over in like the crazy circumstances that he did. Yeah. Um, you know and like he kind of built a family from there in like a foreign land that kind of didn't really want him there yeah and like now me and my sister i was like so like i'm proud of him i'm proud of him i love him for this I, i'm proud of him for that i totally accept these things about him or whatever mm -hmm. and you know it's funny was that like when i in my mind like i'm crying thinking about having this conversation with my dad right and i'm just like all right man it's gonna be so beautiful dude i'm gonna sit my dad down at the dinner table we're gonna talk we're gonna we're gonna cry we're gonna hug we're gonna be best, best friends after that right yeah and so when i finally like you know, sat my dad down hey dad i want to talk to you he's like okay cool you know and like i'm saying all these things and like i start crying right and I'm saying all these things that I, I had planned to say to my dad, because, and, and it was all true, right? Yeah. I felt that way about my dad. And it's like, holy shit, I never realized that I felt these way, this way about my dad, but I do. Yeah. Because I was so busy hating him and yeah. kind of like resenting him before. Yeah. But then I realized there's so much there for me to like be proud of and, 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 and to love him for it and to mm -hmm. accept him like in him, right? Yeah. And like, I was crying. I was kind of waiting for him to cry. <laughs> and what happened was he's, he, you know, he's like proud Asian dad. He's like this. And he goes... And that was it, dude. Like, that was the entire re reaction from him. And, like, after that, he's like, so are you going to go back to grad school? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm like, oh. But I, I said I was going to accept that about you, dad, just, like, five minutes ago. But all right, so you you're my dad. You know, like, what the hell? <laughs> That's the, like, most Asian response. I thought you were going to say, did you eat yet? Yeah, or something. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> but I guess after that moment, like, even though he didn't, necessarily verbally reciprocate or anything like that did you get anything out of uh did you get anything out of just expressing how you felt how you truly felt you know i did like it was a big emotional release and yeah. the thing that it kind of taught me was that that thing that you want for yourself that you've always wanted for yourself you can learn to give that yeah and when you learn to give that you realize that you already have or you or, or maybe like in the giving of that you develop that thing that you've always wanted for yourself and you mm -hmm. realize that you kind of have it for yourself anyway. Yeah, talk a little more about that, actually. Um, hmm. I did not expect that to come out. What the hell did that mean? <laughs> you know, like, so, you know, like in, yeah, so I always wanted that validation from my dad, right? And, yeah. and I think when I look back, I can see how in a lot of different ways I've lived my life so that I would get validation mm. from other people. But then when I was able to just kind of give that validation that I always wanted for myself, yeah. it was kind of cool. Like I, I started to be able to like give it to this person and that friend and that friend. And then eventually I was able to learn how to give it to myself. Yeah. Even, you know, so it's kind of like that, you know, like, you know, I'm gonna have to go metaphorical on you here, right? Sorry, <laughs> but it's, it's so for y'all that don't know, Calvin uh, sometimes <laughs> talks like a fucking hippie and shit. So no, but... it's like a kung fu master. Yeah. They talk that way too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but it's it's like that that snake that bit me when I was younger. Yeah, right. Like I developed the antibodies from that, so that like I could give that to other people, and it's kind of like I became the person that I needed when I was younger. Yeah, you know what I mean. So it's not like I I I was able to release my dad. From that need from him so that he could just be him yeah and like i can love him for what he was i can love him for what he wasn't because i don't need that from anymore 
I just need him to be who he always was, was my dad. And like, I, I have what I thought I needed from him. Yeah. In a way, you know? And you know what's crazy as you're talking about this too, I, I totally 100% relate to you as well. Um, I guess once I had that conversation with my dad, I realized that I started like for a while, like when I was growing up, I didn't really ever truly love myself or anything like that. It's kind of, I, and I cringe when I say love yourself. You're like so I hippie, cringe, dude. You're such yeah, a I fucking cringe like crazy. <laughs> but my dad always like my dad abused me when I was younger, and it kind of made me feel like, well, if my own dad doesn't like me, then why should I even like myself? So I'm very, oh, I was always very hard on myself. Yeah right and um when i realized that and when i wanted to have a better relationship with my dad uh after talking to him i just felt like this physical release and stuff you know it was one of the hardest moments for me i was like this is so fucking awkward saying that you know (laughs) dad like i want to have a better relationship with you you know and that's the first time we really exchanged I love yous, man, to each other. Wow. I was like, holy shit. I cried like a motherfucker, dude. Hmm. Um, but because I was able to do that, I was able to give it to some of my friends, you mm-hmm. know, like have open conversations with my friends. Because if I could change that hardest moment for myself, mm-hmm. talking to my friends was easy. Talking to anyone else was easy because I thought it was like impossible, man. Yeah. Yeah. So... For my viewers, I guess, if they're having trouble, like, talking to their parents and stuff like that, Mm -hmm. and they want a better relationship, how do they go about that? What choices do they have to make for themselves? Uh, Here's what's coming up to me, right? Like, there's... They probably have some requests that they want to make. Yeah. Some some things that they're wanting or needing. um, That they haven't really verbalized. They just kind of, like, expect. Yeah. Right, undercover, like wanting, feeling like you suck as a parent because you didn't give me. But then, like, we're yeah, our parents are so freaking busy trying to like feed us and all that other stuff. They're like, yeah. oh, I didn't even know that you wanted that. Right, so yeah. I kind of like. It, I, I think it's first of all like a lot of clarity, right? Like, kind of what is it that you, if you could ask for anything, like what would you genuinely ask? Not demand, mm. but to like genuinely like ask for. Yeah. Right, like request maybe. Right. Um. And I don't think it's like leading that with that request, but kind of like having that available so that like when you finally have the conversation with your parents and you kind of like get through clearing the crap Mm. then you can like come back around to making that request. If you still genuinely want that, I love you or I'm proud of you or whatever from them, Mm. you know, Um, but I I think the biggest thing is just like out with it, you know, like you have all these things that you've kind of like suppressed or it's like inside. Yeah. um, That is like incomplete. Yeah. Right. So it's kind of like, I think part of it is is completing those things and being like, look, like I maybe have felt this way or I have uh, been holding whatever resentments or whatever and not making it their fault. Yeah. But take you, you taking ownership over like, I have harbored these pains. I have had this resentment and that's different from, from saying you did this to me or whatever, you know? So it's kind of like that way you don't make your parents defensive. You're kind of taking ownership over stuff like hey this is what i have been doing on my side about it yeah. and then saying like and then there's there's a lot of letting go like without letting go of the crap there's no space for like the awesome shit yeah that you could really experience with your parents yeah if you're not letting go of of, of like all that baggage from before yeah so it's kind of like i think part of it is like unpacking and just saying like hey i'm, I'm letting go of these things right here because this is what i would want with you um and i think you know, like taking some time to un- to understand, like, what is it that you want from your parents and are you giving it to them? Yeah. Right. Like, are you giving them the love? Are you giving them the pride? Are you giving them the acceptance? And I think it's easy to feel like, well, they're the parents. They should go first. But it's kind of like, well, if you're adult enough that to, to hear this conversation, you're adult enough to go first. And in the end, I don't think it matters who goes first as long as you end up where you want to be, which is an awesome relationship. Yeah, and I think um, some things that are really hitting home for me is like, um, have your just have a real talk, have a heart to heart with them, Mm -hmm. you know, including like your intent of the conversation, you know, and just know that it's coming out of love. You're not saying this because I want to get revenge on you for taking away my toys when I was a little kid, (laughs) you know, like 
like i think that's the that's the thing like letting them know that you want to have a better relationship you mm-hmm. know if that's truly how you feel just tell them yeah. and sometimes we like go into a conversation like thinking it's gonna go like this exactly yeah. like this right yeah. but it's never like that yeah. you know and i think yeah. part of it is just having confidence in yourself that things are just gonna come out very naturally yeah and um because it's not it's you've been probably thinking about it for years and years now it's just gonna <laughs> yeah. come out fucking beautiful man yeah one more thing yeah if you don't mind is um i think it'd be really helpful to just release any expectations it's a lot it's, it's a big yeah. letting go conversation right you're like letting go of like the hurts and the and the bs from the past or whatever but also i would urge to like release any expectation for your dad to cry and hug you for example <laughs> so that you can just be really present with your mom with your dad sister brother whoever you're having this conversation with and just kind of like release the expectations you just purely intention which is to to heal and come back to whatever and it might take a couple conversations it might happen in that conversation the love might you, that that love that you want to have might be present in that relationship like by the end of that conversation but maybe not in the form of the crying and the hugging that you want it might just come in the form of like a softening of the posture and like when you, if you can just release the expectations so that you can yeah. be present to what is you can you can play off of that and yeah uh, you know to follow up on what you're saying i think releasing your expectations is very important but also like if you do it fucking love yourself man for doing that because that's one of the hardest things to do in life and just realize that dude you today you made a choice to make your life a little bit better yeah. you know not to settle for just bullshit or anything like that you know mm-hmm. and just give yourself a pat on the back you know yeah. and fuck dude if you if you actually do this dude reach out to me man i'll, I'll fucking hug you fool but <laughs> all right i i fool <laughs> yeah but um yeah like guys i encourage you guys to just challenge yourself man and in the comments below if you guys reach out to your parents let me know your story whether it's like whether fucked up shit happens it didn't go the way that you want or you guys shared a hug or maybe even i love you just share it in the comments guys yeah anyways guys thank you for watching our video um if you guys want to follow calvin i'll put his information below um and we will see you guys later peace see guys. You guys later thank you huh.